Hey there fans of the iPad! We've seen a couple of amazing releases during 2021. The iPad Pro with desktop class processor and mini LED display, the 9th iteration of the regular iPad, and completely redesigned 6th gen iPad mini. Nevertheless, throughout all of this time, we have been listening alleged leaks and speculations what the next edition of the iPad Air may bring with its 2022 release. Previous year, Apple introduced the full generation Air, which was and still is amazing one of the best iPads to buy. How big its successor may be, it really can make a difference in choosing should you wait for the iPad Air 5 next year or simply, if you already haven't, take a leap of faith and pick up the 2020 version. Hi friends and welcome to this mocking channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. If you're not familiar, Extreme Skins is a family-owned business that's been making vinyl skins for various electronic devices. I've received three packages, the skin for my 13-inch MacBook Pro, the one for the iPhone XS and believe it or not, my smart keyboard folio. Personal favorite by far is the MacBook skin. I mean, just look at it. It gave it a breath of fresh air and almost like a new life. Even the section inside with the palm rest, trackpad and the one above the touch bar have been decorated as well. It's kind of sexy how the MacBook Pro and the iPhone share the same style. The iPad Pro smart folio is totally different kind of animal. It will provide security in terms of scratch protection, which still counts. At the same time, you'll have something that is truly different, specific made for you, an expression, your status, and your personal message. The link is in the description as well as in the pinned comments. The iPad Air 4 was really impressive release. It was the first Apple device powered by the A14 Bionic and Air's big jump to 4 gigs of memory territory. It showcased new design, kind of similar to the iPad Pro lineup, with flat edges, Touch ID within the power button, and edge-to-edge -edge display. With support for Apple Pencil 2 and Magic Keyboard, this iPad became the true balance of price, power and features for various target groups, like basic users, gamers and even pros. With iPadOS 15 supporting the iPad Air 2 all the way from 2014, you can be certain that purchasing 2020 model this year or in the next would still be an awesome purchase. The upcoming iPad Air 5, even with the initial prediction showing possible OLED display with slightly thinner bezels, it is likely it will remain the same. With design out of the way, the true potential of the 5th gen version could be its chip. What we will all want to see 2021 processor at the core of the next iPad Air, it is widely considered that the A15 will be the one that Apple will select to power this device. According to benchmarks, the the A15 is less than 15% more capable, aka faster and smarter than its predecessor. Will this difference impact your daily performance? Not as much as you may think, unless you are really into more power-hungry apps. If Apple opts for 6 gigs of RAM, this could change things dramatically. Price-wise, I will play the optimist role with the belief that Apple will keep its price tag to $599 if they keep 64 gigs of storage as a base option and 4 gigs of memory. For me, the storage is the only true question mark. Is it time to see the iPad Air starting with 128 gigs of storage configuration? I believe so. This may mean a lot of difference for someone who values and who needs a lot of space for files and photos. Believe it or not, I don't. If you've seen my videos from before, you're probably familiar that my 2018 iPad Pro has only 64 gigs of storage and so far it's been sufficient for me. I've bought it because of its performance mainly. That's why I 
I would always choose the base 11 inch iPad Pro with the M1 and 128 gigs of storage for $799 over the iPad Air 4 with 256 gigs of space for $749. Always. Heck, I would suggest the same to anyone who needs a beast. Now, you don't have to agree with me. What I'm trying to say is, if the rumors are accurate, it is possible that the iPad Air 5 may not be such a huge improvement after all. Yeah, even with 5G. In terms of your workflow and experience comparable to its predecessor in most cases. Unless we talk about cameras. According to some reports, the 5th gen iPad Air could showcase dual camera system and even LiDAR. What is certain is that the front facing camera will also be upgraded to the new 12 megapixel ultra a wide variant. In other words, unless you really want to wait for the fifth generation for the sake of the latest and greatest, or just for camera features and eventually 5G, unless we got to see some memory bump and base storage jump, you may well be happy with generation 4. And if you're a gamer, you already know what I believe. What about you? Will you wait for the iPad Air 5? Please answer in the comment section below. That's all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching this Tamaki channel. My name is Marco, talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.